Okay, yo guys, what is up? It's Captain Ray back with another video on the Canadian channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you my uh, Only Fools and Horses DVDs. Um, but like some of them are my VHS tapes, some now, but there's some back at home in a Um I'm going to show you my Only Fools and Horses DVDs, just like what I did my VHS tapes, go all over them all in like episode order or something like that. So uh, let's show it this way. Have, uh, Complete series one of Only Fools and Horses. This is the DVD edition. Um, these series DVDs uh, <coughs> came in a series called a set called the Complete Only Fools and Horses series one uh, to seven, which I have. Uh, the box uh, unfortunately got damaged, but I still have the actual DVDs, which is good. So uh, the original DVD came out in two thousand. These episodes are from eighty one. Yeah, this is a really good one. There's a DVD There's a design there, and you can see my reflection. Hello. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that one. The series two, uh, of course. Uh, do quite like these pictures, these covers, which are quite cool. And this is this this one was written from two thousand one, and this was broadcast in eighty two. See so, yeah, some pictures from the episodes. There's a disc. Some of the discs in here have been a bit uh, scratched, but I managed to replace them with the original releases. We have complete series three. Uh, this is uh, from uh, two thousand one. And these episodes were from nineteen eighty three. So. The disc actually double sided disc. This is side A, and then you get side B, which is quite cool. Quite. I don't know why they couldn't have split it onto two individual discs, but uh, yeah, they, they did it like that. Then we have series four. That featured uh, Uncle, the first one to feature Uncle Albert, of course. These episodes from 85, and this DVD came out in 2001. Yep, 2001. There's the disc. They all look the same, pretty much. We have the first special, To Holland Back. I don't have this on uh, videotape. This is from uh, 1985. This came out in 2001. It's a promo copy, not for resale. That's quite cool. So yeah, quite like this. This is a really good one. Series five. This was from a uh, 1986, and uh, this is from 2002. This DVD, originally. Yes, it is. You quite like that BBC logo. We have a Royal Flush. This is the 1986 Christmas special. Uh, this DVD has been edited. This is the 2004 edit, and this DVD was released in 2005, I think. Let's see the disc is, uh... No. Oh yeah, 2005. So it was edited in 2004. It says here. Uh, please note that this DVD contains the 2004 version of A Royal Flush and is not the same as originally broadcast. The VHS one that I showed uh, was about 76 minutes long. This is about 58 minutes long. So, I don't know why they edited it there. Oops, I'm going to do the unedited versions on the DVD. But tell anyway, me, this is the Fox Legacy, the 1987 special uh, in 2000. Uh, this is a really good one. Uh, in some Fools and Horses episodes, they actually refer to Rodney's father. Um, Rodney's one of the characters in it, and this is Brother Adele. They often refer to Rod, try and figure out who Rodney's father was in some of the episodes. And it's always been a mystery in the series. Dates, the 1988 special. This DVD came out in 2002. I really like this one. This is a really funny one. They're all funny ones, I don't think there is a, a bad one. C, 
series six. This is one of my favorite ones because of the episode you appeal that has the Dell falling through the bar window moment, and it also has Danger UXD, which has the funny moment with the inflatable dolls. I really find that funny. And the unlucky winner is where um, Rodney has to pretend he's fourteen. These episodes are from nineteen eighty nine, and uh, this DVD was two thousand and. Uh, Three? Yeah, 2003. Yeah, Unlucky Human Race is where um, Rodney wins a, a Mediterranean holiday uh, in the Michael Flake Strong competition, and he has to pretend he's 14 years old all, all week, so that's uh, pretty cool. And these are the two DVDs. DVD 1 and 2. Next we have the Jolly Boys outing, one of my favourites. This is... From 1989, the Christmas special from 89. This DVD came out in 2000. And actually, this one has some leaflet in it. I think this is one of the early ones. The chapter sequence and uh, other BBC DVDs, things like uh, Black Out of There, another one of my favourite comedies. Yeah, we've got things like Doctor Who there, some Only Fools and Horses there. So, yeah. Nice to Just give me a minute, switch my hair. Then we have the Rodney Come Home, one of my favourite specials. This is from 1990. And this DVD came out in 2005. I think this is one of the, the last Fools and Horses DVDs that was released. I think this is one of the last specials they put out on DVD, I think. Yeah. But I do quite like that. some of the colours in this one, particularly this kind of blue one, a sort of light blue coloured or whatever. Complete Series 7, the last series, but they still made specials. These are from 91 to 90, and this DVD was originally released in 2004. Again, this has one of my favourite episodes, uh, Stage Fright, where um, the guy, uh, one, of the, one of the episodes, sings, um, uh, and he has trouble pronouncing his R's. Uh, it's quite funny. I really like it, that one. We have the special Miami Twice. Same as the VHS tape, it's been combined into one. It was originally broadcast over two parts in Christmas 1991, and this DVD came out in 2003. Some of these discs are upside down. Hang on a sec. Mother Nature's Sun got quite a nice green shade to it. Quite like this one. This is from 1992, and this DVD came out in 2004. Some of the Fools and Horses DVD episodes were edited for DVD and video release. It says for contractual reasons, certain edits have been made. Uh, so, yeah. And this is, is one of the ones with the. Just a chapter point. Is that one? And then, one of my favourites. Fatal Extraction, this is 1993, and this DVD came out in 2004 again. Uh, quite a lot of these DVDs, these Fools and Horses DVDs are from like uh, 2004, um, 3 or something like that. Um, Yeah, I really recommend you check out Fools and Horses. It's really funny. And then after a three-year gap, um, they return for a few more. And this is a box set called The Christmas Trilogy, which has the episodes um, Heroes and Villains, Modern Men, and Time on Our Hands. And this set came out in, I think it was... Two th yeah, 2004. Let's try it. Hang on a minute. There we are. Here's Heroes and Villains. These were all like broadcast within a day and a part of each other, these episodes of the 96 Christmas trilogy. Modern Men. Oh yeah. This is just falling out. Just put it back in. Very hard to do this one handed. And the last one out of the special is Time on Our Hands. That was a special that saw them became millionaires and uh, we thought that this was the last Only Fools and Horses episode that they were going to make. And as it said in my um, 
last video copy, uh, probably the last ever episode. So there we are. Okay, so after the 1996 specials, people thought that was going to be the end. That was the end of Only Fools and Horses. But then in 2001, they came back for a few more. And they started with If They Could See Us Now. I know many people um, said um, it should have ended when they became millionaires. Um, I don't really know if it should have. Uh, I kind of in the middle. I mean, there were some good episodes in the... Some of these were good and some of these were not good. Uh, but this was registered from 2001 and the DVD came out in 2002. I mean, but if it did, we wouldn't have had... Um, if it did if it did end when it became millionaires, we wouldn't have had Strangers on the Shore. And I really enjoy this one. I really like this one. This is the one that have the, the French... Um, immigrant and they accidentally kidnap him in the French van in a French uh, wine van and this is from 2002 this is from two thousand. this DVD came out in 2003 uh, lights. and then the last episode that aired was sleepless the last episode that aired in 2003 was sleepless in Peckham I quite like this one uh, this episode was aired in 2003, and this DVD was released in 2004. This was the last one. I, th I quite like it. I know quite a few people probably don't, but I do really like it. I do like this one. This is my dog there. Is that? I have a few more to show. Story of Only Fools and Horses, which is about the making of Only Fools and Horses. This is in 2002, I think, this this one. But it was came out in DVD in 2003. Yeah. Really enjoyed this one. I have, like, the cast, the writers, talk, and the production members talking about Only Fools and Horses. So yeah, I really like this one. We have uh, three, these three DVDs, which are called All the Best. Uh, All the Best Volume 1. These are all from 2004. These DVDs contains the episodes Big Brother and the Russians are coming from the first series and the second series, A Losing Streak, No Greater Love and A Touch of Glass that has that famous um, scene with the chandelier. Volume 2 has episodes from series 3, 4 and 5. Um, and this has Friday the 14th, Thicker Than Water from the third series, Hole in One from series 4, the Longest Night and T for Three, which are both from Series 5. And All the Best Volume 3, which has the moments from Series 6 and 7, which has uh, Yuppie Love, Danger and UXD from the 6th Series, Stage Fright, Stage Fright, sorry, and Three Men, A Woman and a Baby, which is uh, both from the 7th Series. And these DVDs were from 2004, as I said, these three. And there's the. So that's my Only Fools and Horses DVD collection. I hope to do um, DVD box set collections, you know, on the DVD sets I have. So, uh, like, comment, whatever, subscribe. Thanks for watching.